Well, T minus three hours until the first Democratic debate of the 2020 presidential race, a chance for the contenders to make their pitch to the public and set themselves apart from the rest of the crowded field. Let's give you a live look inside the Adrian Arch Center in Miami, where the stage, as you see, is set. The lights are on. This is in the crucial battleground state of Florida. The debates will take place over two nights. 10 candidates each. Tonight, Senator Elizabeth Warren and Beto O'Rourke will be center stage along with our local candidates too, Mayor Bill de Blasio and Senator Cory Booker. We have News Force, Melissa Russo in Miami with more on what we can expect. How's it going, Melissa? So far, so good, Natalie. It hasn't started yet, of course, but for Bill de Blasio and candidates like him who squeaked into this debate with the bare minimum of 1% in the polls, tonight is an opportunity they cannot afford to squander. I can hear you fine. Very good, very good. Very sincere. Cracking jokes during his walkthrough today, Mayor Bill de Blasio says he'll prove his White House ambitions are no joke when he takes the stage tonight with some higher profile Democrats like Elizabeth Warren. I can hear you and I can see you. Beto O'Rourke and Amy Klobuchar. Oh yeah, that's a lot brighter. Cory Booker is also up tonight, positioned right next to Warren. I think the questions have to be tough. At 9 o'clock sharp, the candidates will get right down to business, straight to questions with no opening statements, though they will have closing statements. Expect five separate segments, separated by four commercial breaks. While the Democrats are busy debating on the stage behind me, the president will be live tweeting. But for the people watching at home, rather than watch another anti-Trump Democratic pylon, some voters say they'd rather see what distinguishes the Democrats. I'm hoping to see some like concrete plans regarding health care and education, student debt, um, relief, and climate change. Hopefully we can get a vast um, variety of viewpoints that could hopefully touch on some of the real issues that we're facing. So many uh, voters uh, at this moment, as much as they're angry with Trump, they want to know what Democrats are going to do to create more jobs, to improve our schools, uh, fight climate change. And this may surprise the political junkies among us. Not everyone loves watching political debates. Oh, they make me nervous. I have no intentions. Why is that though? Of other things going on. When are all of them going to quit? Well, they'll be forced to quit when their donations dry up or when they don't meet the qualifications for the next round of debates. But that's part of what these debates are all about, winnowing the field. And in just a few hours, we'll know which candidates have the magic combination, that mix of being personable and being substantive but not boring, getting noticed without going overboard. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.